So now that we have drawn a trend line through the uh, data points, we see that data is not equally distributed. So most of it is clustered on this end where you know the delays are a little bit less than zero, greater than zero, but you have much a much sparse distribution over here. So uh, now you may be wondering what this distribution looks like. So for that, you want to draw a histogram, okay? So now in this video, I'd like to show you how to draw a histogram. So um, here's some empty space. So a histogram uh, puts observations in uh, buckets or bins, okay? So for example, I may be interested in bins of uh, 15 minutes, okay? So let's say um, I type minus 30, minus 15, and I can come to this lower right-hand corner, and I can drag this. And uh, so now I have bins of 15 minutes, okay? And we can uh, count how many observations are between minus 30 and minus 15, how many are between minus 15 and 0, between 0 and 15, between 15 and, and uh, 30, and so on, okay? So um, um, now uh, I have the bins, and to draw the histogram, uh, I click on the Data tab, click on uh, Data Analysis, and here I click on Histogram, okay? When I do that, I need to um, give Excel two pieces of information. What is my input range, which has the data, and where are my bins, okay? So, so I click on, uh, on the input range, okay? My input range will be uh, here. I click on uh, Arrival Delay, hold down control and shift, press down arrow, okay? So again, I click uh, on this. So I'm back um, in the dialog box. So I've specified where the data resides. Now I need to uh, tell Excel where my bin range is. I click here, okay? Uh, I come up here and I select my bin range. And I click here. So um, notice that I have selected labels also. So I uh, check the labels option here. And then uh, I need to specify an output range. Okay, output range. And I click on here. Okay, so I just randomly select somewhere here. Okay. So now I have my data range, bin range, output range, and I click and check the chart output, okay? And then I click OK. So um, I get the counts of bins, okay? So what this says is there are 11 um, observations that are uh, less than minus 30. 66 are between minus 30 and minus 15. 97 are between minus 15 and 0, etc. Okay? So if you scroll to the right, you see the uh, histogram. So I click the frequency, delete, okay? I uh, kind of resize it. So, so you can see most of the uh, uh, observations are between minus zero, uh, I'm sorry, minus 15 and 15, okay? So, but um, I'd like to kind of think in terms of percentages, okay? So, uh, now I have a total of uh, how many uh, observations, sum, okay? I, I say equals sum open parenthesis and I select this range and I press enter. So I have 
a total of 269 observations, okay? And 11 of those are less than uh, minus 30, okay? So what percentage is this? Uh, I say click equals this divided by this, okay? And enter, okay? So 0 0.408 something. So um, I click on home and this will be a percentage. So it's 4%, okay? Now I want to copy this to the below, uh, b these cells, but before I do that, I uh, click on the formula between K and one and I put a dollar sign there. So what that means is that is I copy this formula down, okay? Uh, K4, this blue cell, will be uh, changing. However, this uh, green cell, okay, will stay at the same level, okay? So, um, I scroll down. Uh, I copy them down here, and now I need to check if these add up to 100. I select them, and uh, sure enough, sum is 100 percent okay so these are the frequencies and then um, so um, I want to know uh, what percent of let's say all observations are between minus 15 and uh, 15 so I need to uh, S add up these three cells, okay? So, uh, so these would be uh, 25 plus 36 plus 19. So, 80 percent of the flights arrive within plus minus 15 minutes of their scheduled arrival, okay? Now, Another question I might be interested in is um, how many flights are delayed for an hour, 60 minutes or more? So I just need to add up these uh, percentages. So I look at the sum, 7%. Okay, 7% 7 of the flights are an hour or more late uh, in arrival. 